Good morning, Arizona. All right, a lot of people are losing their jobs, obviously, getting laid off or downsized, but very few can say that they actually come out of this better than they were before. Well, our next guest actually can say that. Believe it or not, he spent his free time developing one of the most popular applications on iPhones today. You'll meet him when we come back. I love this story. This guy didn't even own an iPhone. He didn't know how to use a Mac. And sure enough, he's created one of the most popular iPhone applications out there, Scott. Yeah, and uh, he's an engineer and was laid off from his job about a year ago and sitting around and came up with a great idea. It's kind of a real fancy pedometer. So we're on the treadmill. This is about my pace here. And <laughs> Rick Amato, how you doing? Doing good, thanks. Uh, tell us how you came up with this thing. I think it's just a, a fascinating idea. Well, you know, I lost my job about a year ago, yeah. and uh, I was designing microchips, and that industry just went down. So I saw that the uh, iPhone applications were doing really well. Right. So I thought, maybe I'll give it a try, and my wife said, go for it. So. Well, how do you even come um, up with something like this? Just show it to the camera if you can. Okay. Where, first of all, why, the, why this application? Uh, because, you know, a couple years ago, my daughter wanted to run in P.F. Chang, so we got into running, uh -huh. and then uh, my son's been running. so kind of gotten accustomed to a lot of running gadgets and things like that and I thought well it might be nice to have a pedometer because the app the iPhone has a motion sensor in it okay so I thought well if you can put all the information on there like a treadmill when people are walking outside uh, let me hold this. Oh, do you have to you have to hang on to it for the sensor part yeah uh, what's different about this as opposed to a pedometer that you just might buy in a store uh, the difference is that um, it will give you all of this information, distance, calories, speed, time, uh, step count, um, and you can change all of these fields to see whatever you want to see. There's about nine different items. <laughs> That's terrific. Um, it also gives you a pace beat that you can set and you can walk to. So when you're walking outside or in a mall. Yeah, I mean, um, that would be uh, when you're sh uh, shopping, you know, yeah. you're, you're usually got your phone in your hand anyway, and right. to be able to use that for that, that is just excellent. Right, thank you. And, so, and it works in your pocket too. Or, is that right? Yeah. How do you download this? How do you, how do you get, it, get it on your phone? Uh, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, mm -hmm. you can just go to iTunes, mm -hmm. go to the App Store in there, look for iTreadmill, and download That's it. it. Yeah. Gosh, Rick, uh, and how's it going for you so far? It's going very well. You're yeah. never going to go get a job with somebody else, huh? <laughs> well, actually, I have a job offer right now. Oh, so. you do? Yeah, so trying to figure that one out right now. Well, Rick, congratulations. Thank you for coming down with your family. We appreciate it. And way to go. Well, thank you very that much. That is just terrific. Thanks for having me. All right, I've done my workout, Tara. <laughs> nice job, Scott. Obviously, Tara, there's a lot of people out there smarter than moi. Yes, and me too. Thanks very much, Scott.